In this video, we're going to explore how you can reposition the legend from top to the right. And this is a quite common situation. You might want to position it to the right vertically so you can see your legend here to on the right side in Chart.js. So this is one of our viewers' questions which wanted to know how to reposition the legends and this is a useful skill. So let's explore on this. First of all, before we continue, is to make sure this is our Chart.js. This is the uh, Chart.js version 2.9. So if you're using a different version, it should be no problem. And I know the the 3.0 or 3.0 version is in beta, which is a very exciting, but I'm sure that there will be some adjustments. However, regarding to legend, the chance that there will be any differences within the legend commands is very, very slim. I don't expect any differences in that. And if you like Chart.js and you want to know even more about Chart.js, check out in the description button, uh, uh, description box my Chart.js course on Udemy. So there's a link in it. You can click on it and you'll be directed to that. All right. So let's explore this. So what we want to do is the following. We want to reposition it. And to understand repositioning, we must go back here to our legend. We go here to legend. This is the chartjs.org. And let's see if I click legend. There we are. We are now on the legend. So once we're on the legend, I'll just give it a load. And for some reason, doesn't want to load. That it's sometimes here, sadly enough. All right. So in the meanwhile, we can even skip that for now. We have here our HTML tag while well, that's being loaded. And what we need to do is we need to adjust it in the options area. Any command we're going to legends and every different thing will be in the options in the area. So let's see if it's being loading right now. It does it load anything. Do I select the title? Ah, all right, there we are. Finally. So what happened here is the following. So what we need to do is we have the configuration options from the legend, and then we have the following here. It says here options dot legend. So in here in the options, we're going to put in a namespace legend and this namespace is an array so basically the options is an array which contains values within values and and the skills are an array and then we have another array we can put in here comma then we say legend that's first step so basically what we're doing now is we're opening the array of legend and in here we can now give commands what we want to adjust and what we want to adjust is the following here you can see here Display, do we want to display? Yes. Well, by default, it is set on true. If you don't want to do it, you can adjust that. However, we are going to look at positioning. And the position here is a string type. This is why there's a quotation mark between there. And then indicating here default is top. And if you remember, we want to move it to the right side. So if we click here on more, you will see all the options they have. They have top, left, bottom, right. And that's basically what we need. We need to have the position to the right. So let's type in here position. And then we say here, sync quotation, right, save. All right. So once we did that, we go back to our chart here, refresh. And now you can see it has been repositioned to the right. Beautiful. Of course, a chart doesn't look so nice, which is not a problem. You can adjust this. This can be adjusted by extending the size of it. Uh, of the column or the div the canvas is right now the canvas is in a cart in bootstrap this is a bootstrap css and uh, the chart is in this cart so if we would make this more bigger you will see it will work fine however what we want to do more is for example we want to push it up here or right now it's in the center or at the bottom so where do we want to align them vertically let's try and explore so for that we need to we put in a comma indicate that we have another command below here let's go back to our legend let's go up here and then if we go to our configuration options back we're going to look at align and then you can see again string and by default it's set on center which is correct if we look right now in our chart it is here in the center you say well wait a minute is it the center here here somewhere like putting it center of the text in this case because we have adjusted it vertically from horizontal, we switch it to vertical. From that moment on, Chart.js understands this 
is now a vertical alignment. So vertical alignment means center here. And then if you go to the left or the top, it would be here and bottom here. The right would be here and this would be left, basically. However, they use different commands here. Let's look. They have center. Click. Once we click on that, we can see all the options. And then we have start, center, end. Why these and not left or right? Well, this is very clever done, and Bootstrap 5 has finally done this as well. So instead of text align center or text align left and right, it pushes, it says beginning or start and end. Why? If you have people who are using Chart.js or Bootstrap or anything with the uh, RTL command, it's where everything's right to left. In that case, everything is upside down basically. So left would not be left anymore, it would be the opposite. So where's the starting point? Starting point will be depending on if it's RTL or or not RTL. Yes, so so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to put it here to the end. So in the end for us in this case is of course, so we type in the align first. And then we say end. And the end, if we save this, let's go back here, refresh. The end for us is the bottom here. If it's RTL, it might be a different story. So this is very useful as well. So now you know exactly how you can reposition your chart to the right and control it vertically in the top right, center right, or bottom right. If you still have questions, or you struggle with chart.js, which I understand because it's quite hard to read their documentation, just uh, Post a comment down below, and if you really want to know more, really get deep into Chart.js, check out my Udemy course. It's in the description box below. You have a link in there, and you can see instantly the complete Chart.js course with covering everything you need to know about Chart.js.